Now to a troubling trend. Tonight, a Savannah Children's Hospital is running out of beds. Doctors say it's all due to a rise in respiratory illnesses being seen all across the country. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live from the newsroom tonight. And Brooke, doctors tell you it's not COVID that's the problem. Yeah, Shannon, it's mainly flu cases and RSV cases. Now, we typically wouldn't see these viruses infect a large amount of people until the winter. But this year, doctors saw RSV cases as early as July, flu cases as early as September. Certainly this season has become a big season for respiratory illnesses. Children's hospitals across the country are overwhelmed with patients. ABC News is reporting hospitals in 36 states are seeing an uptick in pediatric hospitalizations for RSV, the flu, and other respiratory illnesses. It is certainly a big problem uh, nationwide, but particularly in Georgia and in Savannah. At Memorial Health's Children's Hospital in Savannah, they're running out of beds. We have a 50-bed unit, and we are running in the high 40s at all times. Dr. Ben Spitalnik with the Pediatric Associates of Savannah says the early emergence of RSV and flu cases could be tied to relaxed restrictions. But some viruses we have to catch. We've spent the last two years either for good or bad in a bubble. We've been quarantined, we've been masking, and that did reduce illness, but at the same time, it also reduced um, the general population's immunity mm. to some of these illnesses. Doctors say one of the best things you can do to prevent the spread is keep your kid home when they're sick. We see too many kids going to school who are sick because um, parents will run a home COVID test. The COVID is negative. They say, okay, you don't have COVID. That means you can go to school. No, there are other illnesses that you need to be aware of. And both doctors suggest getting your flu shot sooner rather than later. The best thing that you can do for anyone right now is to get yourself vaccinated. And Brooke, who is at highest risk for this RSV and the flu? Shannon, generally infants and older adults. So even though for most of us catching the flu or RSV won't be too big of a deal, it's still important to get your flu shot or stay away from others when sick so that you can protect those who are high risk. Back to you. All right. Yep. Get that appointment right now. Thanks so much, Brooke, for that report.